Hello and welcome to Stuttgart here on a beautiful sunny day. Um, it's The weather has turned slightly uh, to the wet, but we will have a bit of sunshine a bit later. We are here for the preseason for the 2024 AFLG season. We've got players here from the mighty Stuttgart Giants, from the Harderberg Knights, from Munich, the Ruse there, as well as some Kiel Koalas who have made the long trip down to come join in this friendly. So we've got two teams of these mixed players from around Germany today playing for the Giants, the Green Sash, and the orange team in the classic GWS orange. We've got a full men's game here, four by 20 minute quarters, uh, where we're just going to be having that hit out here before the preseason. Following uh, us is the women's game, where we've got the national team taking on the expats, which is going to be an amazing game to look forward to after this. But here we have the two teams, and we'll get into this uh, as the ball's about to be bounced up. And here, umpire Walter holds the ball aloft, and we are ready to get set started here in Stuttgart for the preseason friendly. As Jack and Jan for the orange team head up, Jack, a good hit out there. Heads down towards Benny from Heidelberg, wearing a Giants Guernsey, looking good. Hard tackle there by Dane, very good stuff. Jan gets it outside to Maddie. Umpire Maddie now wearing a football Guernsey, looking good. It's gone forward there. The orange team is struggling, but the Giants have cleaned it up a little bit, although it's still in contention there. Phil there from Harderberg getting it out before getting tackled. Akil Koala there on the ground getting that handball there. Matty again gets his kick smothered. Giants are pushing hard. The Green Sash Giants. Camille from the Giants gets it out there to Seb. Another second year player there for the Giants. He gets a scrabble kick out to the middle. Dane coming through for the Orange team. Getting stripped of it. Jared coming through. Just getting the ball away. But there has been a whistle. It has been called a throw there. Yes, it was a one-handed handball, which is a throw, unfortunately. Uh, Jared doesn't realize it's not his kick just yet, but the umpire is directing him to, to pass it off to the other Giants. As uh, Benny there from Heidelberg kicks that ball forward down to the pocket. Mark has been taken. Max from Stuttgart's played on a bit of a shank kick forward. Cleaned up there by the Orange Team defense and is blasted back out through the middle. As the ball is hits the deck there after hard contest by a few players. Looks like that's Maddie and Dane coming away with it. Handball off to Jan in the middle of the captain of the Orange Team today. Handball backwards to his defense there in support. Fabi from Kiel. Back to Jan there. They're running out of room. They're looking to get rid of it. Jan is caught. And there has been a whistle called. He has been caught holding the ball. And Max, number 23 from the Giants. No, he's going to be someone else. And there is a 25-minute penalty for a bit of back chat, think, I think, there from the Orange team. Umpire Walter having none of it. Getting us all in the mode for the AFLG 2024 season. Not giving any leeway. No back chatting to the umpires. So I can't quite see who that player is. It's number 30. It is uh, behind, just right, that was the captain, Jack. The coach of the Stuttgart Giants there, just pushing that wide. In the, the semi, there's a fair bit of wind here today in Stuttgart, although it has calmed down a bit, but there is still a bit to notice as you're kicking for goal. As the Orange team now looks to get out of the, the Giants defense. Oh, it's a bad kick out. It's gone straight to number 17 in the Giants Guernsey. Who's now done a tackle there on Fabi from Kiel, and he has been rewarded, has he, with holding the ball? No, it's going to be a ball up there in the middle, uh, sorry, in the forward line there, around the 35 meter arc. That's Jack for the Giants and Jan for the Orange team, wearing the Munich gear. Jan gets a tap out there, but it's all the Giants. Max, number 23, he gets, feeds the handball out to the back line there, and we'll get a snap kick from the 35 meter, but that has also gone wide. And that's another behind. We are two behinds, Giants, yet to score orange team, GWS. As they'll look to have another crack at this exiting from their back line here. Bit of hesitation there before you're straight through the middle. Oh, Jan slipped over. It's gone straight to the Giants and the kick forward. And this one has also missed, I believe. There's another behind. So they're peppering the goals here, the Giants, as they're really pushing that pressure and really make it extremely difficult for the Orange team to get out of their back line. Another kick there, and his, oh, the mark has been taken about 25 metres out. That's a young man Bjorn there, his first game, his first practice game. We were very lucky to have him down at Stuttgart, and hopefully he can put a few games together for the Giants this year as Bjorn looks to take this set shot. This is his first kick in an any AFL game, and he has kicked the first goal of the preseason match. Well done, young man number 14 for the Giants. As they get around him, they know it's his first goal. It's his first kick, and everyone is excited for the young man. 
He actually discovered the Giants by playing uh, AFL uh, Evolution on the A on the uh, 360 there. Uh, and he just Google searched AFL in Germany and he came along and found the best team possible, the Giants here in Stuttgart. So that's his first game, that's his first goal, and his teammates have gotten around him. And it's an exciting start for the Giants here at the at the uh, the preseason game. 1-3-9 playing yet to score GWS on zero. As both teams make substitutions here in the break while umpire Walter looks to reset. The ball goes up, rucks at it, Jack gets that clean hit out there. Hard to win that ball at ground level. Yarn for the orange team does, gets the kick out front into the middle. Interesting to see that Yarn, one of the shorter players on the orange team, has gone into the ruck against Jack. Uh, but there is a bit of lack of height there in the midfield for the orange team at the moment with their substitutions. As the ball comes out to the wing, it's trickling over the boundary, just kept in. No, the call has been made. We are out of bounds here as the Giants subs are all very eagerly standing along the line, not realizing they're in our way. Please, Giants boys, let's move off to the right. As we're looking for this ball up here on the boundary, umpire Walter looks for the rucks and hoists it up. Yarn and Jack go at it again. Jack could head out front, winning that ruck contest there. Leaf there from Harderberg has got the kick forward. That has gone out of bounds on the full. It will be a Giants free kick taken by Arna from, from Kiel, the full back there. He'll be taking the kick in duties and getting it back into play. Looking for the middle of the ground. Dangerous kick into the middle. It's worked out well. He's found a giant there. He's looking to switch it and open up that space on the far sides. Just overcooked the kick. And now it's a contest here. It's a two-on-two. -two, but the Giants do win and now get a kick forward. Basti there, I think, from Stuttgart getting wrapped up. And it will be a ball up there on the outer wing. Anton there in the orange. A Stuttgart giant doing really well locking that ball up. And now he's got support here. And it'll be a stoppage here on the outer wing. Jack and Jan this time go at it again. Sharked there by the Stuttgart Giants. And it's going straight into the forward line. Just missed there by Big Willow, the full forward. And it's trickled out of bounds. And it will be a, boundary, uh, a ball up over there at the boundary at about the 30 meter mark in the Giants forward pocket. This is umpire Michael, who umpired in the women's grand final last year. Did a fantastic job and he's come down to help us out this preseason. We're very grateful for that. Umpire Michael looks around. He's got Yard and he's got Jack for the rucks. And he hoists it aloft. Jack uses his extra height, getting that tap down there straight to Basti, who hands it off to Max, looking for that entry in. Another handball off to Jack. Jack with the Bunana has scrubbed that forward, though. And Misha for the orange team, wearing the yellow, of course, uh, gets it forward. Dane, a good pick up and a good pick kick forward. He's got Jared on the run. Jared's got the legs. He's got the space. He's outplayed Camille there. Camille's gone to ground. Jared's kept his feet, and he's kept the ball, turning him side out, looking in. Gets that ball over there. He's looking for Phil at the half forward line, but Snowy. No, that's not sorry. That's Russell there for the Giants. He's moving forward. He's swept up from half back. He's pushing them forward. He's got that good kick there. The mark has been called. He's taking his time there as his plays get back as a transition uh, out of defense. As everyone gets back into the forward line now. It's a deep kick through down to the 25 meter mark. Just off hands from Big Willow. He follows it up the forward. But there's a whistle being called. Not sure what it was. I'm not sure who's getting it. I think they're resetting that kick. Something must have happened there. No, it's a 25 meter penalty. That's what that is. Uh, I'm not too sure what that was. We'll claim it as a, I think it might have been moving off the mark, the man on the mark there. There seemed to be a bit of movement there as the kick happened. So the Giants get it in a deep entry now into the forward line. Look for Big Willow. Again, off hands. Well defended there by the Orange team. Willow almost clawing that down as Yano oh, has not seen the rundown from Jack. Captain Jack has done a rundown there in the forward pocket. There was no communication there, unfortunately, from the Orange team. Yarn had no idea as Jack looks inboard. He's looking inboard and he's got three Giants to choose from. One has plucked it, marked it about 32 metres out directly in front. So he'll go back to kick the Giants' second goal about eight minutes in in this first quarter. Good looking approach. Sent it on its way. It's looking offline. It has gone through from behind to the right side. Interesting to note, all behind today have gone to that right side of the post. There must be a fair bit of breeze out there tricking the plays into going out to that side as Misha, an inaugural giant, uh, has been with the club for many years. He was an emu back in the day. Kicks it forward into the middle. He finds Dane, a very good kick in the middle there. As Dane now looks up to see what he's got on, on offer. He's seeing the runners out wide. He's got one. He's just overcooked the kick. The Giants come in, they're scrabbling. Good deflection there. It's the Orange team wrap it up. They're on their hands and knees. 
Number two for the Giants, Luke. He's getting in there. He's getting on the hands there. He's scrabbling it out. He's trying to get that ball. He's trying to get it out to his mates. There's Giants everywhere. Good spin. And number seven out there, Vieri. He's got the ball and he's running forward. It's going to come apart there slightly. There's been a whistle. And it is a, oh, it's a free kick to the Giants there. Snowy pumps it long. Jack's just dropped the mark. It's a wet ball. Oh, almost a falcon there for Misha directly in the face. But he doesn't care. He's up and about again. Working hard to get that ball. He's got Anton in support. But there has been a legging free, key, free kick called. So Misha will get that will get that free kick. As Jack apologizes for rearranging Misha's face slightly. He'll be right. Misha looking down the line. He's got someone on the wing there. That's Anton. Good sliding mark there. Taken. He plays on immediately. Gets that kick forward. He's seen something he likes. Let's do a contest, and the Giants do outnumber at the moment. There was a bit of a scoop there, but they're playing on. The Orange team still have the ball. Anton over to Yarn out in the wing. He's got that forward now down to the far side, but it's all the Giants there as Alex pulls away and gets that kick out very well to Basti on the wing. Basti, quick hands. Oh, but it's been smothered, and Yoshi, good defensive work from the full forward. Yoshi for the Orange team, following his defender up and interfering with that play, ensuring that goes out of bounds for a stoppage. As we're nearing the halfway mark of this first quarter, is 1-4-10 for the Giants. Geos yet to score. But there's a lot of tension, a lot of pressure in this game. So we'll see what we can get here. As Jack for the Giants goes up in the ruck against Yarn for GWS. Jack wins it down. Sharked by number two, Luke. He's stripped of it immediately. As the Giants pull away through Max 23, Misha comes in and Septo. And Vieri now has a chance at ground level. But he's also pulled down in a very good tackle by the Giants. But Dane out there at the back has got that. He's gone for the bounce. It's gone horribly wrong and Jack's got him. Mish is there to support. He's throwing it up to, to Anton out there on the wing as Jared loves us to check out the back hey, of his Jared. head. Look at that straight haircut he's got there. Thank you, Jared. That was good. As the whistle has been called, I think we'll have a ball up there. Right on the 35 meter arc. Umpire Walter calling for it. Looking for his rucks there. Jack is looking like he's primed to go again against Jan. The two captains in the ruck going up at it. Jack tapping it out behind him to Max. Directly kicking into the forward line to the full forward. It has bounced all the way. It has got through for a goal. Fantastic goal there for number 23, Maximilian Kramer. Not sure if that was meant to be a pass for Willow or if it was intended to go over his head. I'm going to go for the ladder, but it doesn't matter. Fantastic goal for the Giants. Scoreline now reads 2-4-16. Giants, GWS Orange team, yet to score. That was a fantastic bit of play there. Jack the Ruckman, Tapia directly behind him to Max who had the clear space there. A couple of metres was all he needed to take those few steps and slam that ball from about 35, 40 metres out as it bounced through over the heads of the defender. Very well earned team goal there for the Giants. As umpire Walter hoists, is ready to hoist it aloft soon. There's some pointing, some general confusion as there are too many plays in the uh, middle zone. Have to get one more out there into the forward line, or to the back line for the Giants. As Walter hoists it aloft. Wal uh, Jack gets that tap down there. As the Orange team are looking to get that forward. They're scrabbling it forward. Jared there has played well so far this quarter. He's done really well getting that ball forward. Number two, Luke there for the Giants. Tackling down there on Tall Yarn, as we like to call him. But he has caught him high. Surprisingly, Luke can't even reach the top of Yarn's head. But he has got him high. Don't know how he managed that. But Yarn has kicked it forward to the wing. And the Giants are pushing that forward. But Misha has intercepted that ball. And he's getting that forward. Just missed the target there. But the Orange team do have numbers that they're around this ball. Thank you. Vieri is kicking that. Oh, smothered ex excellently by Jack as Dane gets the hands out before he's tackled. Vieri again at ground level trying to get that ball out. Jan and Misha working together. Good shepherd by Jan for Misha. Just through the hands of a kill koala in orange before Snowy for the Giants sends that ball deep into the... Uh, the centre square, square there for the Giants. A good handball by Max over to Jack. Jack's running to the 35 metre. He's seen something he likes. Just missed the shot. But they still have time. But now it is a contest two on two. Big Willow does really well getting in there. He's gone to ground unfortunately. And the Orange team have got the ascendancy. And they're kicking it out to the wing there. Clearing the danger for now. And has gone out of bounds for a throw up. At about the 40, 45 metre mark uh, from goal. Maddie for the Orange team comes on board. Gets straight into the Ruckman Jack. He knows who's important here in this contest. Trying to rough him up a bit. And Jack has been doing exceedingly well on the Ruck. No one's really been able to go with him. He's been getting all the tap downs. So we'll see Jan here from Munich for the Orange team. He'll be, he'll be competing here. As the Orange team will be looking to shark this ball. To try to get some movement forward out of their defense zone. Good tap by Jan. Got straight through Luke's hand. Snowy has dived on it. Luke's gotten in his back. Should be free kick Snowy. 
No, it's gone the other way. It has gone the other way for holding the ball, diving on it, free kick. The orange team, Luke gives a bit of a wry grin to Snowy. They both know that might have gone the other way as the ball goes through to the forward line, to the forward centre circle there for the Giants. Another kick forward by the orange team. Really well done, really well fought. Scrappy ball forward. It's on the deck. And there has been a free kick called. And it is for Jared as, as Luke in the middle of there calls for calm. Calls for Jared, take his time. This is within his range. And Jared here could take his first shot of the day. The mark is on 35, so he'll have to kick the full 40. Well, number four, Jared, who's the second year giant at, here at Stuttgart, wearing the orange. He's been working on his goal kicking routine, so it's a perfect chance for him to have his first crack here at a shot. Let's fly, gets close to the mountain mark. Here's a high ball, just gets to the back of the line, but a great mark taken there from, by Alex. Alex for the Giants taking a fantastic mark right on the line, and he kicks it straight out to the wing. He's seen a, a two on two he likes, and the Giants do have the man in front. Bit of a scoop forward, not called. Oh, no, it has been called, I think. It has been called a throw. It has. Luke has got the free kick. He has tried to play on, but the umpire is having none of it telling him to go back around his mark. He needs to learn the rules as that young man, Luke. He'll go back over the mark, and he'll be looking for an entry here into the forward line. We had a good opportunity here for the Orange team. As he gets set back on his mark, as umpire Michaels. Michael puts uh, Tilo there on the mark. Luke's calling for a long kick, but he can't kick that far. See, that's a trick. He's looking inboard. He's got umpire Matty there in the orange. Now they're in the middle of the ground here with the mark. They've got the whole field of heaven. Matt gives a deep penetrating kick there. It's hit the ground. A bit of confusion, a bit of a kerfuffle. But there has been a... Yeah, it's finally gone out of bounds. It was in, in contest there out on the wing. As we're about 40 metres from the orange team's goal there with about four and a half minutes to play here in this second quarter. No one seems to be wanting to get the ball to the umpire, so there might be a bit of a pause in play here. Umpire Walter tries to walk as little as he can. He's got a pedometer on. He's trying to get the all-time low score. Waiting for that ball to be returned to him. Looking around. Looks like Snowy for the Giants will be going in for this ruck against Yard in the orange. Looking to get this forward foray there. Snowy getting roving his own tap. And breaking the tackle there, out to Seb, a great run forward, fantastic by Seb. Kick smothered though, and Jared there with support of Luke and Matt trying to get that ball on the ground level. But the Giants are doing well, a little good hip and shouldering, and, and Shepney, a great tackle from Luke getting Benny down, but the Giants still go out, but there has been a whistle called here. And I think we might have a ball up, a great passage of play from both sides there as we have a lot of second and third efforts and good body work from both sides. We've got Jan from Munich for the orange team, putting his hand up for the ruck. And we've got Snowy again for the Giants. Jan gets a tap down, but straight to a Giant. Gets off, off the, the feet there along the ground. But umpire Matty there in the orange. He's scrabbling hard. He's got the hands out. Just missed Luke, but he's got Jan in support. Just over around it. They're trying to get that ball out. Luke just pushed off, but Jared is there to help out. Gets the ball out, but they're all on the, on the deck there. The, Giant, the orange team, they can't quite get the ball out to their forwards. And there has been a whistle called, and there will be a ball up with about three minutes to go here as the Orange team are looking to get their first score of the quarter. Time is running out, but it has been a fierce contest. No one has given any any, uh, any bars here. Snowy gets the full tap there, sharked by Luke. Handball forward, he's got an option, and Jared. Jared's only looking inboard, he's kicking that forward. He's got straight to 35 meter mine. Tilo, big Tilo for the Giants the, the, with the punch out. Has been wrapped up, and there has been a whistle. And has been a call to throw or holding the ball. So the orange team here with the Heidelberg Knight getting the ball straight into the forward line, but it has been intercepted by Russell. Ball has hit the deck, though. No, there has been a free kick call there for Tilo. Last year's captain for the Stuttgart Giants, Tilo. Fantastic fullback kicking it out to the wing. He's found Max, number 23, on the wing. Max, a bit of a fake, a bit of a, a, bit of a dance. His dance round one, two, off to Tilo, back to Max. Tries to get through a couple, does, gets through three and kicks that ball out to the middle. He's seen a target and there's been a mark taken there by Benny from Heidelberg. Back to Max on the run through as he launches that ball down to the 30 meter. Just dropped by Leaf there in the in the back line by the Orange team. Willow gets the ball up, but Snowy's there. Snowy's crept forward and he's getting that ball out as Misha's trying to get that ball in. Oh, Misha beating two or three Giants getting that ball out and getting that hands out to the, to the out wide. Fantastic. He's got a kill Koala in the Orange kicking that ball forward. Just deflected there by Alex. Fantastic spoil. There has been a whistle, and I think there has been a holding free given. There has indeed, so the free kick will be there. 
out on the far wing for the Orange team. They've got a minute and a half here, yes, uh, now to score. If they could get that ball forward to the tip of the centre square. Yarn has got there. He's got it on the bounce, but he's been tackled well. Ball again cleared by the Giants back to their end of the field. And Max has got a bit of a run on here. It's the two-on-one, so he's got some protection there from Benny as Mac kicks that ball right in, but has been set off with a mark drop there by Farby from Keel. It's just gone through his hands, that wet ball. Very difficult to mark in these conditions as we'll have a ball up here about 15 metres from the Giants' goal with a minute to go. So an opportunity here. For, oh, no, it has been a free kick given. Ah, to Fabi. Fabi has earned the free kick. Might have been for a high tackle during that scrabbling. But Fabi now will be looking to play it a bit safe, try to look for those, look for a target in the middle there. He's got yard and a great mark taken. He's played on. Oh, he's got no one to kick to, though. He's having to run back. Just missed Misha with the handball. And now they're in trouble here. Now the Orange team. As the Giants get a good hands out to Russell. Oh, man, a beautiful tackle there by Yarn. Fantastic captain's tackle. And the saving kick there to get it out to Matty on the wing. And he's got a target he likes as well. That's Fieri. Well, the play on has been... No, the mark has been called. Fieri looks in the middle now. He's seen a target, someone he likes. A good strong mark taken there by Jared. Strong hands there as he wheels around and looks out to the outer wing. He's got Yarn running for him just through his hands. But it's good enough to get through and the fend off on Max. Just slipped as he kicks, though. Gets off to the forward line. Yoshi, big Yosh. Getting tackled immediately by Arno from, from Kiel. The big fullback, the bearded fullback there from Kiel. Yoshi returns to the full forward line. We've got Jan for the orange team. And then that is time there. Umpire Walter here at 20-minute quarter is done. The first quarter of the preseason match is done with the Giants. With a lot of the early pressure, kicking 2-4-16. And pretty much that first half of that first quarter, while the orange team, GWS, are yet to score. It has been frenetic. It has been frantic. It has been a wet ball out there. Very hard to hang on to those marks. And we've seen a few free kicks given for high tackles and holding the balls and things like that. So it's been a fantastic start to this quarter. The orange team will regroup and attempt to sort this out, see if they can change the game here a bit and get a 4A forward. Here we are at the start of the second quarter, about to get underway. The Giants there really taking the advantage, kicking 2-4-16 to no score as of yet for the Orange team. The Orange team will be looking to tidy that up, especially around the ruck contest. Captain Jack there was doing a fantastic job getting first use for his team as umpire Michael there is ready to bring this game back into play. Here we go. Ball is up. Jack versus Yarn. Yarn with the tap down there, but it's all Giants. But there has been a whistle. I think the... They're going to redo that ball up. I think it went a bit too far to the outside the circle. So Michael there will redo that. Restart here in the second quarter. Jack for the Giants. Jan for the Orange team. With his fresh tattoo looking sweet there for Jan. Jack gets a tap out this time straight to a Giants player. I think that is Martin Schutte as he kicks that forward. Straight out of the middle. Beautiful play there by the Giants. And Max has marked that in the forward line. Back with the flight, unfortunately, leave there for Heidelberg in the orange. He could not get back in time. It just went over his head. And Max, best place there to take that mark is number 23, Max. Look at his second goal of the game. He begins his approach. Sets sail from about 30 directly in front. And that has gone through for a goal. For the second goal there, the Maximilian Kramer for the Giants. Within the first minutes, the Giants continuing on their hard work there at the start. Really pushing that, that ascendancy and that domination there from the middle. The Ruck Jack there is doing some fantastic work for his team as, as Martin Schutte there, a veteran of the Giants, of the Stuttgart Giants there, one of the founding members, back for another game. Combining really well and getting that ball straight into the forward line for best use for the Giants forwards. It's the Orange team regroup, Dane, Jan and Matty talking there about what they want to do. Jan looking to, to at least quell Jack's influence here in the Ruck. And umpire Michael hoists that up. Jan there. Fighting that tap, but Jack does get it back again to Martin. But a good tackle from Matty gets that ball out to the wing. But it is all Giants there. Max's call it come up from the forward line. He's got it off. Back to Martin there. Matty almost with the smother off the boot. But it does get forward. And Seb there for the Giants taking the mark about 50 metres from goal here. He'll be looking. He's got the hands off to Max, number 23. Can he get three into a minute? No, he cannot. A scrap kick. An absolute shank there from Max. He'll be wanting that one back. Uh, but the Giants there do have the answers as they come up to get this intercept mark here. Benny from Heidelberg, as he's looking now on the, about 40 metres from home, he's looking for a leading player. He thinks he's got one in the pocket there, but the mark has been taken by the Orange team defence. As they look to switch the ball, it's just been intercepted though by Max, who's in everything today so far. Played an excellent quarter and a half so far, a quarter and a bit. Taking that mark there in front of Vieri. As he kicks just forward, just missing Jack there. Good defence by Jan from Munich. 
but the hands are out, and Alex, the fullback, has somehow crept forward, and he's kicked a goal. A bit illegal there from Alex, the fullback, coming all the way up, unmanned, has snuck up for the good pass out from Jack, and he's kicked a goal, and just given what for to the Orange team bench. Might have to blur that, I'm not too sure. From, from Big Alex there, the fullback for the Giants. Very excited about his first goal. Not sure if that's his first goal in any game in the AFLG, but definitely his first goal today. Well done to him. As the Orange team are just under immense pressure so far from the middle. The forwards not seeing any of it so far in this quarter. As Jan from Munich now, the ruck against Jack. You're looking to put some body on him and getting that tap down. Jack again backwards to Martin. Martin's trying to get the hands out, but he's swarmed by the Orange Guernseys. Benny again from Harderberg. He's getting the ball out. He's evaded too. He's got the hands in front of Jack. Caught there by Vieri and has been holding the ball. Incorrect disposal there. One on Vieri, the shorter midfielder, taking on the Ruckman. A fantastic tackle. He's kicked it out wide. There has been a whistle. Something's happened. And there has been a 25-meter penalty paid for an encroachment on the mark there. That was pretty clear. Benny from Harderberg there in the Giants gear. He did step over the mark. Vieri now. He's been marched up almost to the other end of the center square. Now he can get this ball in forward. He's looking up. He's got a short option. Just well, well defended there by the Giants. As it's now scrabbling out in the ball. Camille, they're getting out. Oh, but Yard from Munich, he kicks it forward. He's kicked it over the heads of the defenders. And that's triggered forward for the Orange team's first goal. Fantastic stuff. Yard from Munich kicking the first goal from about 35 metres. Fantastic kick. Saw the empty goal square and just rolled that straight through. Fantastic quick kick. And a great effort there from the Geos forwards. And fantastic from Vieri who started this chain. Vieri getting that, holding the ball on the Ruckman Jack. And again, a 25-meter penalty, kicking it long, played on quick, got the ball in, and the GWS forwards uh, did their best at ground level, got that out to Yarn, the acting Ruckman, who kicked that goal from about 35. So it is the Giants, 4-4-28, GWS one straight six. Zampai Walter gets us restarted here. Because now it's Dane in the middle there, looks like, against Jack. And Dane has got that tap down. The Giants at the floor, but the Orange Gurndys are swarming. Jared, good tackle, gets out to Dane on the wing. Dane pushes that down to 35-meter mark. Tilo there just dropping the mark in front of two GWS players as Phil from Heidelberg scrabbles to get hands to it, hands out. Well tackled by Tilo as the ball has hit the deck again and Yarn a good tackle there following it up. And it has been holding the ball called by umpire Michael there, right on the 35 meter mark. And Yarn again for, for the orange team wearing his Munich Guernsey there, looking to get it back in. Kicks a long end, he's got Phil on the square, it's just missed him, just missed another player as the Giants looking. Good tackle there by Luke. In the back pocket there, followed up by Phil. Fortunately, nothing called there, and we'll have a ball up deep in the forward pocket for the Orange team as the, the small forwards for the Orange team are looking to swarm. Dane there taking the rough duties against Jack. Dane for the Orange gets a tap directly back into play. A good a good tap in, but it's collected by the Giants. Handballed out. Martin Schutte getting that hands out to Jack. Jack the clearing kick down, but only as far as the GWS forward there. Tries to screw it up, but has missed the target. It's Snowy for the, just the big fend off as Snowy goes streaming through the middle. A scrap kick forward as Moza from Munich gets the hands back to Snowy, who kept running. Fantastic play there by Snowy, the Giants' vice captain there. Gets it out to the wing. A bit of a scrabble there between Big Willow and Leaf there. The defender the defender comes away with it. The Orange team getting that back forward just through the hands of Jack. And Jan is there, puts the body on, trying to play, get that ball off the ground while he's got Jack for company. Just gets it out. Anton there working hard with the ball. He's got support by Vieri. Vieri gets ah, tackled by Martin. A fantastic tackle. And that is, that is holding the ball there. I believe it's been called. And it has gone straight back down to the other end. Big Willow there now. Got the quick hands out. He's got Benny. Benny a flying shot on goal. Unfortunately, the wet. That has gone off the side of the boot. And that is still trickling to the pocket. As Snowy, I think, leads the race down there. No, it's Moza. Moza kick from the pocket. Don't know where that ball's gone, but it's not through the goals. As it looks like it's uh, it's gone out of bounds, maybe. I think it might have. It's, it's trickled out into the uh, the bushes there. At the fine field here at Feuerbach Sport for Ryan. Very grateful here to our to our parent club, Feuerbach, who, has a, who have fantastic facilities here, from change rooms to locker rooms, all that. And the field is absolutely immaculate here today with some perfect lineage there, done by our, our friend Boris, the groundskeeper. As the orange team has finally retrieved that ball out from the bushes down near the fences. Walter's going to be throwing this up. Misha versus Jack. Misha, the punch forward. Fantastic. But oh, it's going to be redone here. I think the, uh, the ball didn't go as straight as Walter would have wanted. He's going to have another crack at it. We'll give him another chance. As Walter gets that ball up. Misha again gets that tap with Jack there. But Dane has sharked it. It's gone straight out to the center circle. 
collected good by the orange team. While the handballs missed the target, but Matty has come streaming through. The orange team still have it, just kicked it out. But the Giants have come now to defend and to support. And there is a lot of players around this ball now. But it has come out and there has been a whistle called and has been a high, I believe. Yeah, it's been a high free kick to Akil Koala and Orange there as he's looking now to get these in the center circle. He's kicked it to the 35 meter line. Almost a mark there as Jared is running onto it. We've got Yarn running onto it. He's got a snap kick over the shoulder. That's not going to make it. It's gone to the pocket. We've got a few guys in there for the Orange team right there. But Dane has pulled the mark down. 20 meters out. Fantastic mark there from Dane. He's going to have his shot for his first goal of the afternoon. Fantastic mark there from a scrap kick from Yarn. Good pressure there from the Orange team resulting in this shot on goal. Dane here. Second year Giant has his shot. And it has just gone wide there, unfortunately, to the left as the Orange team will look to try to lock this in to their forward line to get a few repeat entries, a few repeat shots. As Arno from Kiel has Snowy out in the wing. Oh, it's just missed him, and now the Orange team pressure is coming. Luke's tracking Snowy, but hasn't quite get there. Snowy's on the ground, getting confronted by a few Orange members. And now Austin there for the Orange. He's kicked out to Vieri, number seven, who's taken the flying shot at goal. Arno there, well defended. Outsizing the smaller forward there, and Luke getting that ball straight to the boundary. Doing well there is Arno, the, the fullback from Kiel. His beard on beard there, but the height difference is showing as Arno has got the number there on the small forward there. Dane has put his hand up for the GWS team for the ruck against Jack. Captain Jack there again playing magnificent game in the ruck. As Michael gets that ball off. Dane, a big slap forward straight to Jared. And the snap kick around the shoulder has... Just gone wide, unfortunately, but a fantastic play there from Dane and Jared, two second-year Giants who have been getting better with every training session and who are well cementing themselves in the Giants' best 22 to go forward for round one. As the Giants now kick out to the wing. Mark Jart taken there in front of Vieri. We've got Russell there in the back line looking to see what he can do. Gets a ball to the tip of the center square. Just spilt there by the orange team. But it does get out to Dane. Dane now from 35 meters. Kicks that ball in to the forward line. It's just trickled past. And that will go through for a behind, I think. I think that's trickled through for a behind. So Dane, two behinds in quick minutes. As he's really pushing himself. Asserting himself in that midfield and pushing forward. As the orange team is setting their forward zone up. Trying to lock that ball in. Forcing Arno to kick long out to the tip of the square. But he's got a man. He's just gone through. Tall Yarn's hands. But he's still fighting forward. But it has been high. Tall Yarn high on regular Yarn. Captain Yarn of the Orange team. Who's about 45, 50 metres out. He'll be looking for a leading player. Will Yarn looking forward. He's seen someone he likes. He's got in there. He's a pack of players there. Teela getting first hands to it. Luke for GWS gets it in there. He's on the ground. Trying to scrabble it out. In the back by Arno is not called. Umpire calls play on. But the kick has come from the Orange team. And that's trickled through for a goal. There's a second goal for the Orange team. They are now 2-3-15 to 4-4. Four, four. Giants 28. A fantastic goal there from good forward pressure. Gain that ball at ground level. The Giants, uh, the GWS team, the Orange team doing fantastic work to get that ground ball and get those handballs out to a player in space. And a quick kick that's all took out of the pack. A very nice kick there from the Orange team to get their second goal. So they are indeed 2-3-15, 4-4-28. So looking like the Orange team has pulled back a bit on the dominance here that the Giants had in that first quarter. They're starting to work out a few plays, trying to, and they're working out what's happening in the ruck there with Jack. They've worked out how to read his hits, and they're doing a bit better at stopping that easy flow out of the middle, and they're locking in their forward line when it gets there. As we're looking to reset here to make sure we've got the numbers in all zones as needed. We are playing 12 on 12 here today here at Stuttgart. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. We have as umpire Walter Hoist a lot. Dane with the big slap forward. But Russell there for the Giants. He's got the ball. He's tackled brilliantly by Phil. No, that was Vieri. Uh, as Jack gets it scrabble on the ground. No clear possession here. As all, almost kicking in danger there by Dane. Tackled there on Jack. Does get a little kick out. Moz is there trying to tackle it forward. Max there, number 23. He's got the hands out wide. Just missed Basti. As Anton there gets a, the little soccer kick out to the wing, but only as far as I think Martin Schutte out there. Well tackled again. Anton still in there. Vieri trying to help out, but Max does come away at the ball. Gets a quick kick out forward line there, out to 35 meter line. As the defense of Kiel and Heidelberg, I leak good, good kick out in, off the ground into the back to the middle. Tall Yarn there in the middle, getting harassed there by Dane. Good pressure there. Now he's got a friend Yarn. He's coming through. A scrap kick to the forward line. Phil there from Heidelberg just drops it, but he gets the hands perfectly. 
to his teammate running through. A flying kick a goal. And that has gone through. That is three goals in a row for the Orange team as they're clawing their way back into this game. Fantastic kick there by Akil Koala, I believe that is. Fantastic kick from about 35. And great work by Phil. He may have fumbled first, but he picked that ball up, took the tackle, and got clean hands, which resulted in that goal. So well done by Phil there from Heidelberg, doing fantastic work. As the GWS Orange team are now 3-3-21, trailing the Giants 4-4-28. It's only a seven-point difference now if the Giants got out to, I believe, a 28-point lead. I think it's been all the Orange team since then. They've worked things out. They've got their intensity up over the Orange team. And Dane here in the ruck has been doing a fantastic job against Jack, really neutralizing and winning some of these contests. As we go at it again, Walter, again, a mutual contest there by Jack and Dane. Little toe poke from Max. Didn't quite get out. Yarn for the Orange team. Gets that kick forward out of the center, directly to the forward line, off hands. That has been a whistle on Yoshi, the big full forward. Yoshi has been given a free kick directly in front, about 30, 35 meters out. Alex complained to the umpire, but the hold was there to be seen. And umpire Michaels picked that out. As Yoshi's being told by his team, to take his time. This is his shot. He's got the distance. He's got the leg. He'll kick from about 35, maybe maybe 28 meters at best. As he runs in, gets that kick. It's just offline, unfortunately. Through for a behind to that right side. As the Orange team are clawing closer and closer. Now just one straight kick in it. One goal. As the Orange team now 3-4-22. Giants 4-4-28. As we're nearing the six-minute mark remaining in this second quarter. The Orange team are doing great with this pressure as, as Backman Teal there looks to get a clear long exit out. But Dane again, oh, almost gets gets done for tripping there. Or maybe it's high. It is high instead as Martin Schutte gets down low trying to get that ball. Pushes it forward. He's got Jack out on the wing. Jack's looking inboard now. Turning directly inboard. He's seen Max in the middle. And he's seen Snowy. Uh, um, Matty there just giving away the free, we think, for yep for a high, high defense. So Snowy's looking... To kick that ball out to the wing, you see an option he likes. He's got Max free there. Maddie's chasing hard, putting the pressure on as Max kicks that ball into it. He's got Willow well defended there by the Orange team. As Mozza's there tracking the ball to the boundary line. Gets a snap kick in on the left. Mozza just has gone through for, for a goal. That has gone through for a goal there from Mozza. Fantastic left foot snap. Gets celebrated there by Max. So Mozza, the, the assistant coach to the women's national team here, running the training session today. In Stuttgart, helping out there. Moza, the, uh, who played in last year's grand final for Munich against Berlin. He's been around for a number of years now and is a fantastic player for Munich and has kicked a goal here for the Giants to stop this flow of orange team goals. Kicked the Giants' first goal since I think about the five minute mark of this quarter. So they're 5 4 34. The Giants versus GVS 3 4 22. His umpire Michael is getting us back underway. Dane first the ball, but it will be recalled that ball in the wind there. Just not going as straight as Michael would have wanted. He's going to give another crack. This will reset here. We can see Alex the backman there spread out to the wing to give an option there. Looks like a set play from the Giants. As Jack and Dane. Dane gets first tap to it. Young gets a hands out. Matty there. Steps through one, two, three. Loses his feet. Gets crunched in a tackle. But I think there has been a, a call here. I think it might be an in the back call here for Matty. So the ball's going to come back to the middle. And the orange team will get that kick. So they'll be able to get another 4A forward here with four minutes to go. Matty, free kick in the center circle. Good reward for effort there. He's seen someone out in the wing. Just missed him with the kick. There is the out number with the Giants, uh, with the Orange team, sorry. Phil picks up Bob greatly. It kicks it back to Matty. Fantastic vision and good safety there getting that mark. As Matty's made to earn that mark. Kicks it back down towards the wing there. Forward for the Geos. But oh, Max has come through with the flying mark and has just played on. Run that forward. Hands just missed the target. Now it's in contestion here. Yard for, for Orange Team has got that ball forward. As Luke's trying to pick that ball up. He's tackled there by Alex after he's got the ball there. And it looks like there is a bit of a stop in play. Looks like there might be a slight injury here for the Orange for, uh, half forward there. And Luke, he's down a bit. He's grabbing at that ankle. He's being well looked after there by his teammates from both teams. Yeah, he's on the back there. We'll have a bit of a break in play. They're going to call a, call a sub to get him off. He's on his feet. That is a good sign. Looking like he wants to walk, but no, he'll, he'll go off the other way. Off to the other edge. So I'll get a sub on directly from the interchange. As he's on his feet, which is a good sign, and he's hobbling around. As Alex says, checking that he's okay. But it's looking like he'll be all right as Luke will hobble off the ground. And we'll be having a free... It is a free kick here for a holding off the ball. 
as the was tackle was after the ball was released as Yarn gets that ball deep into the forward line. Deep kick long. Just gone out of the forward pocket there. So it'll be a ball up near the near the boundary of the forward pocket for the orange team. So a chance to push push their advantage here. As they want to lock it in deep and get a couple of shots on goal. They trail now by 12 points. Two straight kicks. As Dane and Jack in the ruck again. Dane gets a good tap forward. Tapped forward again by the Giants defense. Straight to Yarn though. Straight to Matty. But he's swarmed immediately by three Giants. Russell and Jack in there. Getting that ball down. We'll have another ball up with two minutes remaining in this second quarter. Jared hovering there. Looking to shark these these taps from Dane. He's on the move. Is Jared not staying still? Dane takes a straight out of the ruck. Kicks it. Ah, it's just gone to the other side of the goals. Gone out as well. So we'll have another ball up. On the far side now, on the close side, I should say, of the commentary. Still in the GOS forward line. They've got a minute and a half remaining to lock this ball in and try to get a goal from these stoppages. They've done really well to claw their way back into this game. And they would love to have another one before halftime. Dane again gets a tap out, but it's all Giants at the floor. But Yarn there for, for the Orange team. Gets a kick forward. Toyan just slips through his hands. It's still on the ground though. Toyan does follow up. Gets a good hands out there to Jack. And Jack clears that ball out of the danger zone. Gets it out to the middle of the ground again. Good contest there. And Matty clean pick up almost. Oh, he's just getting straggled there by, by Alex. Good defense from the Giants. But Misha for the Orange team gets a kick forward. That ball does hit Dane. Oh, and he's taken the tackle from Martin. He's just shrugged it off. And he's popped it to the dangerous spot. And he's found Yoshi. A fantastic effort from Dane. A ridiculously strong effort getting out of that tackle. And the vision and the calmness are blazing away, finding Yoshi about 15 metres out. The big full forward has already kicked up behind today. This one from a similar spot now, but a lot closer. Number 13, Yoshi, takes his kick. And that is a goal. First goal for Yoshi here in the preseason game with 30 seconds remaining until half time. Fantastic team goal there from Misha coming through from the midfield. Dane breaking that tackle and the vision to find Yoshi on the lead. And Yoshi for the fantastic finish, getting that goal. To get the Orange team, 4-4-28, trailing Giants, but it's one straight kick, 5-4-34 as we're nearing halftime. A fantastic team effort here for the Orange team. And he claw back into this game. There's only one straight kick after the getting blown away in the first. They are now right back in this contest. And the Giants are aware of that. You can see they know that there's some pressure here. They're looking at that halftime siren as Walter hoists it aloft. Dane pushes it forward again. Max is there to shark it. Well tackled by Max. Snowy's there to pick up the crumbs though, and he's kicked out. He's got Martin on the wing. It's just missed him there. But he's got Seb. Seb the good hands out to Martin as Jared is applying the pressure. And Jan coming forward as well to help out. Martin runs back into the middle. He missed his target, but there is time there for the Giants. Oh, but the bounce has beaten them all. And I think that's gone over the line, unfortunately. Shocking bounce there. As it was Benny there from Heidelberg trying to get to that ball. The umpire is going to be calling a, a ball up here at the boundary. Snowy will be going into the ruck against Dane. Dane's been having a great day in the ruck here today. He'll be looking for Maddie on the edge of number 14. Gets it out. Maddie does get that quick hands forward, but it's just missed his target. There has been a whistle called. Not sure what it was as Jared and Max collide. A bit of giggling there. Not sure what happened, but Maddie's got the free kick. I think he's about 45, 50 minutes from home, so he's looking for a lead there. Pops it into the, into the pocket for a forward leading. Just missing Big Yoshi. And there has been a whistle. Not sure what that is. I think uh, I think that is time. Yeah, that is half time here. Half time here at Stuttgart in the preseason match with the Orange team, the GWS team, clawing their way back into this match. They are 4-4-28, trailing the Giants 5-4-34. After we saw quiet domination from the Giants in that early foot start part of the first quarter, the Orange team have fought back and kicked back, and we have one straight kick between them at this half time break. Okay, here we are at halftime. Giants 5-4-34 versus the Orange Team, GDOS 4-4-28. It has been a tight and frenetic first half here at the preseason game to kick off the 2024 AFLG season, starting for the Giants up in Dresden on the 6th of April. Uh, it's been, as I said, a fantastic day today so far. We've had the women's training early today. Um, before we've had the men's game and later we're going to have the women's national team versus the expats uh, extra special uh, preseason game here for us in Stuttgart uh, but back to this game now that we're watching half time here only a goal separates these two teams and it's been for a few reasons for the Giants they've had a great uh, sort of synergy there in the ruck moving forward with Captain Jack just doing a fantastic job uh, and his new role there at, at the ruck in the middle uh, working well with Martin Schutte and, uh, and Max there Max Kramer 
uh, the forward there for the Giants. They've linked up really well with Max kicking two goals already and had a lot of opportunities there in the forward line. And they've had great tackling pressure. Every time the Orange team have gone near that ball, there have been Giants around. They've been putting that pressure on, uh, which is something we work on hard here in Stuttgart trainings um, to really drill that in, to get that pressure going, to make sure that we're putting pressure on that ball uh, so we can try and lock it in, which the Giants are doing really well here today. While the Orange team, the GDRS, well, that comeback was something. They hadn't kicked a score for the first quarter, and yet they are now only one goal behind. They kicked three goals in a row at one point and were looking dominating, clawing their way back with the Giants just getting a steadier there before halftime to increase that buffer. But it's back to that one goal difference. As I say, that comeback was on the backs of efforts from a few individual players as well as the team as a whole. But Dane there taking over the rock responsibilities in the second half of that quarter was fantastic. He neutralized Jack's efforts there and won a few himself and pushed forward, kicked a goal himself, it actually as well made a lot of uh, efforts possible for the GWS uh, team, the orange team there in the forward line. Getting that use and that ascendancy up forward, we're able to get a few goals kicked from ruck contests and stoppages there in the forward line and really lock it in, which resulted in those three goals in a row and getting within that that half, uh, that only that one kick there now at half time. Um, as well, uh, Misha at half back has been a fantastic. Uh, organizer back there for the back line and driving force off the halfback flank, driving that ball back in the midfield, working well with Dane, Vieri and the likes through the midfield. It's been really good to see. Uh, what the Orange team does need to work on, I think, so far for the second half, they need to tie up some disposals. There's been a few drop marks, a few uh, not-so-perfect kicks coming out of the middle and they need to take their time there because they're getting the, the free kicks from tackling pressure. So it's been really good for them, but they just need to tighten up those disposals. They have a clean line to their forwards, give them a better chance to add to kick some goals. And for the Giants, while well, they have to keep pushing through that midfield with Jack and Martin, uh, getting that first use there, uh, but they need to definitely tighten their defense down there in, the four, in their defensive 50 as there are a few ground ball gets that the Orange team were able to get and get those quick snap goals uh, to close that gap. Um, but I also would like to thank our sponsors, of course, at the Stuttgart Giants. We have some fantastic sponsors. Bultman uh, have been jumped on board again for the for the Giants, which is really great to see. And our new sponsor, Ross Knesht, with the Giants beer here, has been absolutely fantastic to get them on board and help us get some new gear for the 2024 season and some ridiculously tasty beer. So pick up your Giants beer over at Ross Knesht in Feuerbach. Get yourself one of those. I've had five or six already last night. So we are rock and rolling with Ross Knesht beer. So very big thank you to them for jumping on board for season 2024 and beyond. Um, and also train times with Stuttgart Giants. We here down here at Feuerbach Sport Park. We train in the summer as it's, well, the summer as we call it, starting in April. Every Monday and Thursday from 6.30, you'll find us on this very field we're watching the game on now. We're training twice a week as the AFLG season kicks off. As I said, on April 6th, up in Dresden for the Giants, we'll be playing the Dresden Frankfurt Red Wolves and the Berlin Crocs, the reigning premiers. So up first for the Giants in round one. For the men is a huge battle, while the women are heading over to Munich to take on uh, the Munich girls there at their home turf. So it's a big round one, only two weeks away now for the Giants team as we're looking to get back into this game now at halftime. Here we are back at the start of the third quarter here with the Giants leading by just a straight kick over the Orange team as Dane and Jack go into the bounce, but there's a whistle called. Something's happened there. I think they're just going to redo this ball up. No, it's going to be a free kick to Jack. They've seen something off the ball. Ah, there was an infringement there. A player's come into the zone too early. So a free kick to, immediately to the Giants in the center circle. As Captain Jack, the Ruckman, looks to get that ball forward. Long kick down the forward line. Passing 35 meter arc as Max runs onto it. Just Mr. Benny down there in the back pocket trying to get that ball up. Oh, the kick has come forward, but it's got trickled out of bounds. That has gone out of bounds deep in the forward pocket there for the Giants. As the umpire will be looking to ball this one up, umpire Walter will be looking to get this, get this ball started again. Rux will nominate. Jack again going back into it versus Dane who's come, who's come down to the back line. Jack getting a bit of a high tackle there from Dane. Unfortunately, it's just slipped up. Umpire Walter's picked that out and Jack will get the free kick there on about a 45 degree angle, about 20, 25 meters out. Good opportunity here for the Ruckman captain, Jack, to add to his dominance of this game with a goal. As he sets himself there, Jack with his routine, his goal kicking routine, looking to looking to increase this buffer that the Giants have over the Orange team out to the two goal margin if he can. Takes his shot. And that has gone straight through the big sticks for the first goal of the evening for Jack there, number thirty, the Ruckman, getting a good good finish there of his set shot after 
after a, a free kick there given uh, by a high tackle, unfortunately, there from the Orange team. So a good quick start here from the Giants, increasing their lead out now to 12, 12 points, two straight kicks in it as the Giants move to 6-4-40, GWS 4-4-28. So it only took about a minute and a half for the Giants to add to their scoreline here in Stuttgart. It's a pre-season friendly match. And Jack back in the middle, back in the center circle, ready to do the ruck work again against Dane for the Orange team. Number 16 doing a fantastic job. Michael hoists it off. Beats both players. Oh, the Giants try to push off there. I'm not sure who that was in the middle there trying to get push off, but he got caught. And we'll have another ball up in the middle. I think that was, that was Seb there, one of the new players for the Giants, doing well, trying to break free. Just getting caught. Jack and Dane again. Jack getting the tap down behind him. Giants are there on the, on the floor. Benny get the hands out. Just out to Russell. Couldn't quite pick it up. Captain Jack in there as well. Phil tries to tackle it, but he does get out. The ball does get out. And it's gone out to the wing as the Giants look to push this ball forward. They'll be looking for their leads for their forwards. Gets out to the middle. Right at the tip of the arc there. Yarn good. Sliding in. Get that ball out to the other yarn in the Munich blue. Getting that kick forward. The whistle has been called. And it will be a free kick to the Giants as they're looking to foray forward again. Russell there kicking out wide, trying to switch the play. Just misses his player. And the Orange team do have a good kick off the ground there. Clear it back to the center circle. But it's all Giants. Martin getting that ball back in deep to the forward line, out to the 35-meter arc. The mark just missed there by the Orange team. Leaves Benny in there for the Giants, getting a chance there. Tackled roughly down there at the boundary line. And it'll be a ball up deep in the forward pocket there. Betty and Bjorn there in the forward line trying to work something out for the Giants. We're looking to try to shark this ruck here from Jack. Jan for, for GWS taking it in. Jan, Jack win the tap, but Jan is roving it. Just gets the ball out across the line. Max calling for deliberate, but there's no deliberate in the AFLG, Max. Come on. We'll do another ball up. No, he has called, has called something. He has called a deliberate. Walter, I'm going to have to follow up on that one. Jack kicks the ball into the forward line to the tip of the square. Martin there, I think it is. We got Max oh, doing the roving. Doesn't make it past Farby in the orange. Farby gets the clearing kick out towards Phil and Russell. Russell drop chest mark there. Phil, good pressure. Phil gets tackled immediately though. Can't get out. Camille for Giants getting in there. But it is the orange team getting away with the ball. Though the Giants are now swarming the out number now. And Russell getting that kick back into the forward line. Good spoil there from Max. Bring that ball to ground. Anton find the hands. Finding Farby in the back line. Farby hands forward again to Jan. Yarn kicking that ball out to the wing. He's seen a man he likes. He's seen the other Yarn, Captain Yarn there, looking for the ball. Good clean pick up off the ground, and he's off and moving. He's looking up. He sets sail from 35. That goes towards goal. That has trickled across for a behind. But a fantastic transition play there. Started off in the back line with Anton to Fabi, to, to Yarn from Munich, and then to Captain Yarn there. Four possessions to get from end to end. Unfortunately, just resulting in a behind. A minor score there. As the Orange team are now 11 points adrift. Kick out there has missed the target, but they have Giants in the back there. The Orange team now have the numbers. Yarn there, a bit of a scoop out the back there. And Maddie's onto it, being confronted by Moza. Moza getting it out, getting some support there for Benny from Harderberg in the Giants outfit. Getting that kick down, but it's all the Orange team back there. As Mission and Leak work well to get that ball forward. And a good mark taken by Yarn in front of Moza. Two teammates from Munich on opposite ends of the field today. As Yarn kicks that ball in, looking for Phil. Uh, almost caught there by the Orange team. Tall Yarn gets that ball back out to the middle as it comes crashing through. Oh, but Misha streaming through in front of Max. Gets that ball and sets sail to the forward line. And he's found Dane. He's just dropped it. He's trying to get through it free. Can't get the ball. Well tackled there by the Giants. As there has been a whistle blown. And it's a free kick to the Orange team. I think Dane was held on to a little bit too long there after he released the ball. So it's a holding free. Dane right at the edge of the 35 meter arc. So he'll be kicking for 40. He'll be looking for a lead here, will Dane? A call to play on now. Oh, a little dinky kick there to Jan. Jan has got it. Evades tall Jan, another teammate from Munich. And Jan sets sail from 35 directly in front. That's gone through for a goal. Jan from Munich there kicks his second, bringing the orange team within five points. A fantastic effort there from both Dane and Jan to get that ball out to the forward line right at the front there and taking advantage of the space and the time they had to get their team back within five points within a kick. This is the lowest margin we've had since the opening goal of the first quarter. The Orange team are really fighting their way back.
We've got Yarn here in the middle, looking to take the ruck work maybe against Jack, or it might be Dane again. Looking like Dane might be keeping in the ruck there. Yarn doing the roving sweeping roll for the orange team. We've also got Vieri in there as well, manning up Seb as Jack and Dane go at it. Taps it to Yarn. Yarn does a nice spin out of trouble and gets it forward. He's got Vieri in support as they push it forward. Umpire calls play on. As the ball gets into the forward line, almost a mark there taken by Yoshi, well defended by Arno. As the ball still goes into deep into the forward line for the for the orange team, as Maddie tries to get through, Phil has popped up, got the ball well smothered by Moza. Phil again gets the hands out to Maddie. Ah, two quick hands for that. Unfortunately, couldn't quite hold on to it. As Seb in the back line for the Giants gets a good hands out, but the orange team are swarming and pressing here. They want the lead. They know they're close, and they are really pushing to get this ball through. The whistle has been called, and we'll have a throw up here. As the Giants are in, as the Orange team are only five points adrift, a goal here would give them the lead, and they would be well aware of that. They'll be trying to push their their dominance here in this early part of the first uh, the third quarter. Day in a good tap behind, but Michael will be recalling that that throw up that went a bit too far forward. I think he's going to try to get a straighter one this time, as we're nearing the eight minute mark of this this third quarter. The ball goes up. Dane and Jack. Dane almost getting that, but Jack getting the tap over. Dane trying to follow it up. Yarn there again. Hands out. Just missed Phil there. Phil good enough to pick it up again, but get tackled immediately by Jack. The Ruckman is roving and, and putting pressure on at the same time. Ball still in dispute. Phil there. Mozer in there for the Giants. Phil again still in it. Still pushing hard. Still getting those ground balls. Still in play. The ball is still in play. Getting, getting tackled around there is the Giants, but I think we'll have a ball up. Yarn and Jack, we're going for this ball up here. Yarn doing very well, undersized against the taller Jack, but doing really well in the ruck there, trying to neutralize Jack's efforts. Good tap by Yarn, straight to Dane. Oh, he's just slipped out of the hand. That wet ball is hard to hang on to. Mozo getting to the ground ball in support. He's got, he's got Shooty. Shooty is just, yeah, oh, he's picked that up brilliantly. He's click, kicked that clearing ball out. He's got us back into the middle of the ground. Misha just dropping that one, but he's got support there. And the Orange team are trying to stream forward, but it's only going far. As the Giants in the midpoint of that center, uh, center square. Just missed Benny on the lunge. But the Giants do have support. But the Orange team are there trying to push that ball out. One against three for most of it. Leek does get that ball out. Don't know how the umpire saw that one. But he's saying play on, play on. As Martin is looking up now. He's looking through the middle. He's got options. He's found Benny out wide. Number 19 just missed him. But he's got time to collect and turn and assess the situation. 35 metres, he has a flying shot at goal. Yarn for Munich, he's getting back there. The ball has just bounced on end. Gone through for a behind. So behind there for Benny from Heidelberg for the Giants. For about 35 metres, it was a good kick and a good play. He had the time, he should have, He had the right to take the shot. Fortunately, just didn't quite get there for them. As it goes back out to a one straight goal lead. There's a good kick out from fullback there. He's found a mark on the, on the uh, defensive pocket there. And another mark there. Strong mark taken by Jared on the wing. Getting a bit of love there from Captain Jack on the other team. As he kicks down to the other end of the square. Contest situation two on two. As the Giants do pick it up at Austin there for the Orange team. Good pick up. Good clean pick up. But his handball's out to the middle of space. No one in particular. But Dane is following it up on the ground. Getting out there. But it's all Giants at the back. It's Martin again. Does a step around. Dane gets through that. Through the center square. And now bomb that down long to the forward line. Leak is the first one there for the Orange team. Getting back there. And he's just kicked it straight out. I think that might be out of bounds on the full. See what the umpire calls there. Yep, the umpire's called out of bounds there. Need someone on the mark. Not sure who's going on the mark for the orange team, but there will be a kick. I can't see who the kicker is at the moment, unfortunately. But we'll see Max running down there, trying to get the cheeky handball off. Nothing happening there. No quick, easy one for Max here. Hard to work for as the ball goes in. Just cleared the whole pack onto the other side of the forward line as it trickles down over. Oh, no, it's still in play. The Orange team dangerously get that back into the middle of the ground. And Jack, the giant, swans in. Max, for his third goal, smothered off the boot. And a little bit of a push and shove there from the Orange team with a little bit of a smile there from Maxi as he acknowledges. That was a great smother there from the Orange. Through for another behind as the margin trickles out to seven points. Ball goes out to the wing. Yarn there, fighting Benny. Both still got giant boys. Dane as well getting involved. Can't quite take the possession of the ball. Good pick up by Dane. The rugby league expert dances around two, three. Gets that kick out to the middle and he finds Jared. 
Dane and Joe to be finding each other all day with these short kicks. It's been a great link up between these two from halfback across to full forward. It's been really good. Jared has a play on the outside. Time to, to wait for the ball and gather and kick that ball down to the other end of the center square. Just missing Austin, bouncing off his knees there. Now we're right back in the middle of the ground, fighting over that. I think that's Tilo there for the Giants trying to get the pick up. He does, gets the hands out wide. He's got bending eyes, oh, just missed him, but Max there off the ground, soccer off the ground. He's seen Jack. He's just gone past him, but Jack has time. Again, soccer off the ground. Oh, a perfect soccer to the young man Bjorn. The first gamer who kicked a goal in the first quarter. A fantastic soccer off the ground from Jack. 25 meter soccer through the air is found Bjorn about 25 meters out and about a 45 degree angle, lining up for his second goal. A long kick from the young man, but it is wide. It has gone off to the left. It's 1-1 for Bjorn there. Very grateful to have him down here at Stuttgart. And seems to be enjoying himself out there in the field and looking dangerous in the forward line. Doing really well is Bjorn. There's a Giants now an eight-point advantage. Still under two kicks. This has been a tight third quarter. As a dangerous kick into the middle there has missed the target. Misha there to clean up for the Orange team. Beats two, beats three. Gets caught by the fourth, but hands out to Vieri. As Vieri gets it out to the other side of the center square. But it is all Giants and Russell, number 40 for the Giants have ta has taken that mark. And he's looking, he's seen Max on a lead out wide. He's got him. Max has taken the juggling mark there in front of Yard. Yard made the mark. He's about 50 meters out is Max. Won't be able to have the shots. He'll be looking for a lead up. Seen something he likes out in the pocket. Just missed Big Willow. But he's got time to pick up, turn and look and assess the situation. Gets a kick in forward. Oh, Snowy almost with the mark floating through. The backman floating forward and, and providing some dangerous presence as the ball pings out to the other side. And we've got a mark there. Again by the young man Bjorn. The young man Bjorn has taken two marks within two minutes here in the forward line. That was a fantastic low mark. Really getting down low for that one from a rushed kick from the boundary. He's about 20 meters out. Slight angle. Takes his kick. Ah, has gone through for another behind. Unfortunately, just gone wide. The young man playing his first game. He's kicked one goal too. Has been absolutely lively up forward. Has young Bjorn. Getting some good direction from the experienced players out there and Jack and Max and really working well on that forward line, adding an extra tall dimension to the Giants forwards. As the Orange team looking to bring this back in, we've got about six minutes to go here in this third quarter. Nine points the margin, 6-8-44 the Giants, 5-5-35 five, five, the Orange team. As the ball makes it through, the back to Jared. He's in the center square now. He's got time. He's had a look. He's got the left boot out there. It's just come up the side of the boot, but he's found Phil. It's just beaten him, but Austin's there in support. Got the hands out. And the orange team will get that ball in. He's trying to get it back to Phil, but it's just missed. It hasn't re gone far enough. Camille there for the Giants in defense, working hard, getting that ball out to Snowy, working well. But Vieri fighting hard. The, the short midfielder there doing, doing some real hard work down there at ground level. He's got plays in support, but the tackling pressure is brutal there from the Giants as they lock that ball up at the edge of the center square at the Giants end, as a, at the orange end of the ground there. It's Captain Jack and Captain Jan ready to face off in the ruck. Jan gets a tap down there. Good. Found, found Jack uh, Jared at the back. Quick kick forward. Found a mark. And he's played on at the 30 meters. Sets a flying shot. It's across the face. And that is out of bounds. And there'll be a throw in there. Or was it out of bounds in the full? No, it looks like uh, it'll be a throw in. Deep in the, in the pocket of the orange team forward lines. And the nine points adrift. They really need to push here for a goal with five minutes remaining in this third quarter. Just to keep that pressure on the Giants to show they're not going away, this Orange team. They are here for the fight. As Jack again puts his hand up, going in for the ruck for the Giants. No clear winner from the ruck. Oh, tapped out Vieri. Out of nowhere. Gets the crumb and gets a nice goal on the right boot. The boot, nah, nah, off the side of the boot. Has trickled through for a goal. A fantastic goal there from the midfield of Vieri. Up forward, putting the pressure on. As the Orange team close the gap, it is only a three-point difference here with about four and a bit minutes left in the third quarter. GWS Orange team 6-5-41 versus the Giants 6-8-44. Three-point deficit here for the Orange team. They are fighting hard. And Vieri, who's been lively in through the midfield, has done amazing work and was lively at that stoppage in the forward line. He knew where the ball's going. He knew where the goals were. And he didn't need much time to make it happen. He got that on the right boot and snapped that through. That was fantastic. Yarn and Jack go out again. Yarn wins the tap, but it's all Giants at the front there. Snowy put on good block there for Benny. Benny hands off to Max. Max fakes the handball, then goes for the shot himself. Goes long to the goals, and now it's trickled through for a behind there for Max Kramer, the, four, the half forward for the Giants. A good passenger play there, starting from the Shepherd from Snowy, allowing Benny to run onto that ball and get the hands off to Max. A really good work out of the stoppage. 
as Leek looks to pump this ball out of his defensive zone, clearing the 35-meter arc to a contest there. Vieri again in it with Jack. Mozza getting tackled, brought down, asking for the trip, not getting it. Jared there, oh, getting stripped away by Snowy. Snowy launches on that right boot. He is dangerous in front of goal. But that has just gone to the near side through for a behind. As the Giants slowly push out their lead again, but only in, in increments of one as they keep kicking these behinds. They've had some opportunities, but the pressure from the Orange team has been really pushing them to take these rush shots. Sleek again looks to get this ball long out with his booming right boot. Nice 30, 40 meter kick there. Off Camille's chest there. But he's got support in Benny. Oh, a bit of in danger. And they have called that. So Anton will get the free kick. Good effort from Anton there. An experienced Giants player. First at the ball and rewarded with the free kick. And he's seen Yarn up the line. Just dropped the mark here. Still a wet ball. Yarn with the fend off. Says, no, thank you. Not having that. Gets taken by the second. And he has been called holding the ball, unfortunately. A bit of a rough call. He did get the hands, but I think he took too long to get there. And the umpire's called to holding the ball. And Seb, the second-year giant, has got the got the free kick there. Hands off immediately to Benny off, the, off on the wing. He's going to pump that into the forward line. Clears the pack. Oh, and, and it's Jack at the back. And Jack right on the right on the goal line. Jack kicks the easiest of goals for his second of the afternoon. Well done to Captain Jack. And well done to Seb, who started this chain by getting the free kick. And hands off directly to Benny. Good vision to get that ball over. Captain Jack waiting in the goal square. Don't know where his opponent was, but Jack was very happy to slot that one through from about a meter out. Jack won't kick any easier, I wouldn't think, throughout the 2024 season. That's two for the captain. As the Giants move to a 7-10-52 lead over GWS 6-5-41, 11 points now. So the Giants hitting back late in this last uh, third quarter as we have a minute and a half remaining, roughly. As the Orange team will be looking to try to close this gap before halftime. They would love to get one more before uh, before three-quarter time just to keep that pressure on and keep themselves in the game. So the ball goes up. It's Matt against Jack this time. Jack wins that down back to his team there, Martin. Matt following it up. Max coming through from the forward line. Mac, Matt beating one, beating two, beating three, fending off another, trying to get the handball there, but there's no one there in support. Handball out quick to Max. Max cannot get the handball away, and Matty has got him cold holding the ball. Matt plays on immediately, gets that ball forward. It's all Giants there, but it has fallen to the ground, and Dane is fighting on the ground there, trying to get that through. He's got Austin in support. Russell there for the Giants, comes away with it, kicks that ball out of his defensive zone. Oh, he's almost found Benny there on the half-back line. Just dropped. Oh, he's tackled well by Vieri. Fantastic chase down by the midfielder. And something's been called. I think we might have seen a... A free kick there to the Orange team. There has been a uh, holding the ball free kick. Yep, I think uh, Vieri with his tackle on Benny. Fantastic tackle there on the edge of the center square. Vieri's indicating he wants to kick. There's a 50-meter kick. I don't think he's got in. A bit of a trick in the umpire there. But he's got a lead. He's found a lead. Just missed. Well defended there by Martin. Well spoiled as we're trickling down the second tier. Only about 20 or so remaining. Oh, but Matt intercepts. Gets the ball out. There has been a whistle though. What's been called? Oh, that is three-quarter time, I think. No, there has been a free kick there. Sorry, we've got a free kick here to Matty. I think for a hold off the ball after he released, that would have been what that would have been for. As Matty looks, not much time left. Matty has to pump this long. He's looking for a mark, and he's got one. Dane has come out on a fantastic lead from the goal square. A perfectly weighted kick from Matty's hit him at about 25 meters out from goal, and Dane will have his kick from about 30 on a almost 40, 45 degree angle. Dane comes in, sets sail for home. That has gone through for a behind, unfortunately. Just pushed to the right. Minor score there for the Orange team. As the siren has gone, so Dane's kick was after the siren there. Just getting that minor score to tighten things up a little bit. The Giants are 7-10-52. The Orange team, GWS, 6-6-42. A 10-point deficit currently for the Orange team. As they're looking to claw their way back. Uh, they pushed... At the end there of that quarter, they really try to get that pressure on, and they'll be looking to really follow through on that in that last quarter. We're looking, we're going to have a fantastic end to this match. This young man Bjorn just jogs across screen there, playing fantastic in his first game. Dane there as well for the Orange team. We're going to have a fantastic end to this match as we enter this last quarter in a few moments. Okay, so we're getting ready to start this last quarter. Is the Giants seven nine fifty one versus Giro six seven forty three? 
Only an eight-point difference separates these two teams as the Rucks, Dane and Jack, go at it again. Dane, a good win out, trying to find Yarn on the on the ground there, but Jack follows up. Does get the ball held to him. It is a ball up there. Wrapped up well by Maddie and Yarn from the Orange team as Jack and Dane will go at it again in the Ruck. Ball is up. Good tap out from Dane. Well-timed, but straight to Martin for the Giants. Oh, it looks like the umpire here has got a bit, may have stepped in a bit of a ditch, maybe just jagged his back a little bit, but he's looking like he's all right. But there is a free kick given, I think, for a hold off the ball. Oh, it's going the other way there. Hold for, for Matty. Just trying to work this out here. The umpire is saying who's got what. No, it is going to the Giants. Yeah, we've worked it out. Martin there for the Giants will... We'll be looking, looking to get this ball in now for the first entry of the quarter. He's found Jack on a short lead there, tip of the goal square. As Jack wheels around on that right boot, plays on. He's got Willow in the deep forward pocket. He's got Bjorn there as well, but good punch there for Farby. Good fist there in defense, getting that ball out. He's got Dane there. Dane's followed up, but Mike, Max has sharked, sharked that pass. As Jan pushes, tried to get forward there, but Benny has outrun a few, gets that quick kick away into the forward line. Strictly down to the pocket. The Orange team have got the time. Willow there arriving for the Giants to put the pressure on as the ball clears the area. Out to a pack off, but a good mark taken there by Yarn on the chest down on the far wing. On his defensive wing there. So Yarn looking to get a quick kick there. He's found found a friend there in the Orange. The tip of the uh, the defensive line, the center, center square for the Orange team as they look to push that ball forward now of center. A long kick down to the forward line. Yoshi on a searching lead. The bounce just beats him and it does go out of bounds. As there'll be a ball up there at about 40 meters from goal for the Orange team as they look to push and close this gap. Eight point lead for the Giants. The, 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 the GWS Orange team are trying to close as Dane gets the tap out there. But it's all Giants at the floor. Camille there getting in and amongst it. Gets that ground ball and there'll be another stoppage here. Another ball up. Jack and Dane ready to go at it again. As Walter hoists that aloft. Dane doing some good work, but Jack getting that ball out front to Shuddy. Straight to him, but well tackled by Matt. Getting him straight down there for another another ball up. But the ruck roving duo of Jack and Martin Shuddy there is working really well. Dane looking to quell that influence with a good tap forward, but Shuddy again at the floor, reading that really well. Again, that kick. Oh, it's smothered there. Just gone right on the ground. Jack, good pick up. Good shepherd there to give him space. Hands out in front for Martin, but straight to Dane in the orange, and then straight to Yarn out. But it's just fumbled, just couldn't get to him cleanly as he's kicked that ball a bit wider as Jared there tracking that along to the boundary and it's gone over out of bounds and there'll be a ball up in the forward pocket for the Orange team as they are pushing and locking this ball in, not letting any easy exits for the Giants. Dane and Jack again. Dane getting the tap behind him to Matt. Just couldn't hang on to it. As Benny for the Giants. Oh no, it's Martin there for the Giants trying to pick that up. Just gets a hands out. Uh, good good from Teal there, fighting through, working with Jack, two on one. And they managed to get that ball out to, to Benny out there on the wing. Gets around one and then lets fly a, a high ball. Just dropped there by the Orange team. First gamer there, gets the ball up off the ground. Perfect to Snow, who spins, who twists, who dances, who struts to 35. Let's go a long bomb straight to the goal line. And that has just been touched on the line. It's been kept in by the Orange team dangerously. Hands out. Farby, though, does get the kick out. That was an almost amazing goal there by Snowy, but just touched on the line to kept in play as the ball is tracked there. Snowy back in the action, trying to get that ball back in. He wins it. He's found a target in the forward line. He's found a mark. He's played on, though. He's trying to get it to Willow. Willow, the hands off to Snowy. It's just hit the deck. Snowy's picked up. He's tackled well. Max there, front and center for the hands. Let's fly with the, with the kick and kicks that goal. Great team goal there by the Giants. So Snowy involved three or four times, I think, in that play with Max getting on the end of that one for his third goal of the evening. As the Giants push their lead out, 8-9-57 to the GWS, 6-7-43. Fantastic team goal there from the Giants and uh, from, the, yeah, from the Giants and a great individual effort from Snowy pushing up from half back and getting involved in quite a few passages of play to eventually get the hands off to Max who right in front snaps that goal through. As we're nearing the five-minute mark of this quarter, Dane and Jack will be going back into the ruck. Jan and Vieri and Matt for the Orange team versus Seb, Benny and Martin for the Giants in roving. 
Fieri gets hands to it first. Good clean pick up, but the hands miss the target. He follows up himself. He'll get another possession here out wide to Fabi. Just misses that. Vieri again at the ground, getting that up. The number seven for the Orange team, working hard, but gets pulled down. Beyond there, the new player tries to get it out. Seb punching it through as well. We've got Benny from Heidelberg trying to get that through. The Giants do get the ball out. A good quick hands out to Captain Jack, a snap around the corner. That ball is heading out of bounds, and there'll be a throw up down there in the, uh, in the back pocket for the Orange team. The forward line for the Giants. Good passenger play there. The midfielders from the Orange team really trying to get get the essentially there, try to get that ball off the ground, but there was a lot of pressure there from the Giants keeping that ball locked in. Now we're in the Giants' forward line, deep pocket there on the far side. As Misha and Jack nominate for the ruck. Misha gets a good jump out of equalizing Jack there, but Jack does the roving himself, gets around, snap across the shoulder, and he's kicked a goal. Jack the Ruckman, tap, rove, goal. Easy as you like it. A fantastic effort there from Captain Jack. Leading his team there to extend that margin out to 20 points now as Jack comes off for a break after that brilliant individual effort. Well done there from the captain and coach of the Giants team in the AFLG. The Giants now 9-9-63 to the Orange team. 6-7-43, a 20-point deficit now the Orange team are facing when it was just eight points moments ago. Some great pressure from the Giants and some quick kicks and handballs out to get these quick shots a goal have paid dividends. Now we see this 20-point margin. But we still do have 13 plus minutes here in this last quarter. So still plenty of time for the Orange team. As Tor Yarn and Captain Yarn go at it in the ruck. D Dane sharking that, but then Matt picking up from the ground. Can't get the hands free though. And Martin comes streaming through the center circle, getting that ball forward. Willow beats his man. Ah, oh, but it's just a bad bounce run, unfortunately, as Leek gets that ball forward. Vieri, good getting in there, in there at the ground level, getting that ball ahead of Benny. And he has earned the free kick for a high bump, I think that was. Benny can't believe it, but I think it might have been there. As Vieri, who's been lively throughout the middle, has been fantastic, finds his target, Matt, out on the wing. As Matt turns around, he's got a man further up the field. He likes, he's got Misha there. Good mark taken just at the center circle. He's confronted by his old mate, Martin Schutte. Played many games together, those two. As Misha sends it to the edge of the, of the square. Always gets a yarn on hands and knees, tries to get up with the ball, but he's tackled immediately by Benny and the Giants. And we'll get a ball up here at the edge of the center square forward for the for the orange team. 20 points adrift with 12 and a half minutes remaining. There's plenty of time for the orange team to claw this one back. As Toryan gets that tap down to Martin, who does a needless 360, but I love it. Looked beautiful as he gets it on the right boot there. Gets it forward, but only as far as Misha. Hands off straight to Maddie, who danced around one. Is getting caught by the second, though. Seb comes through and knocks that ball clear. Play on calls the umpire. Misha again getting in the ground. Hard ball gets, but confronted by Toryan and will have... We'll have a ball up here. If you don't know who Toyan is, he's the tallest man that you'll see on your screen currently going for the ruck. I have to call him Toyan because he's facing Captain Yarn of the Orange team while Yarn for the Orange team is roving. So Toyan and Captain Yarn do go at it. Toyan does get the tap away, but doesn't go too far. Hits the deck. Captain Yarn there for the Orange team. A good fend-off, but there has been a whistle called. I think there might have been a bit of a high there against Martin on Yarn as Yarn comes away with the free kick. Looking further up the field, looking for... Looking for a target. He's found Maddie. Good short kick. Bringing him to the center circle. Edging their way forward. Opening up the ground there through the middle. Maddie directs play. Runs an arc. Pumps that ball long. That beautiful right foot he's got. Straight to the, to the middle there. Phil there with Dane. Working hard. Trying to go. Camille does really well there for the Giants. Getting that ball out. But Jared is there. Shark in. Oh, he's just got run down. But he's just got boot to ball. So it's back in there. Toyan getting that. Oh, so scrubble, scrubbed kick out. Only goes as far as Martin and Jared. Jared, good tackle there on Martin. Anton sliding and trying to tap that ball back to Phil. He does get to it. Good hands to Matt. Matt gets that ball back in. Another repeat entry. But a mark taken there by Tiller. Two, not 15 called by the umpire. Tackled again by the orange team. Phil getting in there. Tiller again getting in possession. Yarn. Captain Yarn runs an arc on his left. Pumps it to the top of the goal square. He's got Yoshi on the lead. Yoshi. Fantastic strong mark there for Anna. About 25, 30 meters out. Beautiful kick from Yarn to the advantage of his leaning forward. A fantastic play there from the captain as the captain comes off for the for a break there. And Yoshi looking to kick his second goal of the afternoon. The second year giant lines up, runs in, sets sail. That is looking good. Has it got enough? No, it's just gone a bit too wide there. Unfortunately for Yoshi kicking a minor score, bringing the, the margin down to 19 points. It's Giants 9-9-63, GWS 6 8 as we're nearing the halfway mark of this last quarter. Time is running out for the Orange team. And the Giants here need to defend desperately. 
as the Orange have been locking in this forward line for the past couple of minutes. Backman Tilo sends that out past the arc. Oh, it's a good kick. He's found Russell out there on the wing. No, it's Torjan, actually, not Russell. Torjan sent it forward again, and he's got Benny from Heidelberg there. Austin made the mark for the Orange team. It's Benny. Considers his options, looks inboard, looks further down the line now, sets sail down to the other end of the three. He's got Mozza, it's just reached him. Mozza, a good mark there. Read the ball best in the air, and he was there, there at the fall. He's looking up now, pumping it. He's changing the angle, kicking on the 45. Uh, almost intercepted there by Fabi for the orange team. He's on the ground, he's got the good hands to to Misha. He's just had the, the ball kicked away from him there. It's just a scrub kick out to the wing, but there is time for the orange team. They do have the numbers as he gets around Benny from the Giants. As the other Benny from the Giants tries to track that, but it does go over the line, out of bounds for a throw-in. The umpire will be calling for that for the, the ball up there, just on the far wing there. Yarn from Munich and tall Yarn from Munich will be looking to contest this ball. Good win from Yarn. Which one? Who knows? As the Orange team gets the crumb, Dane, great kick down the line. And he's found, oh, he's almost found a target there. But the giant, it has been a ball up. It has trickled out over the line, so it will be a ball up there over on the, the Orange team win wing. We got Yarn and Yarn again. Tall versus regular. As Tall comes in, wins it slightly, but straight to the orange team. Moza comes through, but there has been a call there. I think it has been a throw called. Yeah, a throw there coming through. A bit of a scoop off the ground. As Tall Yarn comes away with the free kick. He's looking inboard. He's got Russell, number 40. He's just overkicked it, unfortunately. And Phil closing, but there is support. But the orange team has pushed that forward, and they've got the numbers now. But well tackled. Oh, great kick over the shoulder. Not sure if he meant it, but it's straight to Phil. It was a scrub kick along the floor, unfortunately, but there is support there for the Orange team. Jan has got it. He's called for the high before he's even the whistle has been blown, I think, but he has been given it. So he's got the free kick. The mark is set, I think, at about the 30-meter mark. So he will have to kick this about 35. This is within Jan's range. The Munich half forward. Well within his range, and he'll be looking to add to his total here today and get the Orange team closer. He set sail. It's a good kick. It is there. The Orange team has kicked their first goal of the last quarter, getting them closer to closing this margin. They are now 7-8-50 to 9-9, Giants 63. They're closing this margin down to 13 points. Three kicks are in it. And that was a fantastic effort there from Yard, who really fought to get that ground ball, got rewarded after the high tackle, and importantly finished off strong, kicking that goal. As we've got about seven minutes remaining in this last quarter of the preseason match here in Stuttgart as the sun is shining and is looking beautiful out there for all who are playing currently. 13 points to margin now as Jan is looking to go back into the ruck against Jack. Jack, good tap out behind to Moza. Moza clean grab and kicks out wide. Intercepted by Misha. Misha up half back running. Straight Moza gets the crumbs though. He's able to get that back. And kick that ball back down to the forward line for the Giants. He's found a tie. He's just short of the Giants forward there. Dane for the Orange team has picked that up beautifully and smashed that back into the middle. He's seen seen a few options. Austin just through his fingers. At, but Phil really tracking that. But Russell doing well. A few spins to get out of trouble. He's got Snowy in support. And now they're running the Giants off half back. They're off the back of the center square. Looking to the other end. Oh, but a good intercept there. Not quite the mark. But now Maddie. He's running the wrong way. He's got to turn. He's got to find a friend there. Matty goes for the switch. He's got the option out wide. Dane, good body work to get to the fall of the ball um, under Max. And Dane kicks that long down the line there. It's into the orange team forward line. Yoshi running out to meet it. Just can't quite get the ball up. Tries to spin out of trouble. Gets the hands out to Yarn. Just misses him. Yarn, a good clean pickup. Wheels around on the right. A little of a dinky kick, but fills there. Hands back to Yarn. Yarn on the right. Snap through to goal. That has gone through. Yarn has kicked two in a couple of minutes. And Yarn has got them back into this game, the Orange team. They're now only trailing by a solitary seven points. One goal, one they are trailing by. It is the Giants 9-9-63 versus Duras 8-8-56. A fantastic effort there from Yoshi at the full, the full forward running out, getting that ground ball, getting it out. And Phil combining with Yarn, a 1-2 there. Yarn, a clean snap over his shoulder on the right boot. Fantastic effort there. As we have six, uh, five and a half minutes remaining. And only seven points the difference. The Orange team has been pushing the Giants all day trying to close this gap. And they are getting right into it. This game will come down to the wire, absolutely. As we are almost only five minutes remaining to go in this preseason hitout. Captain Jan, Captain Jack go at it. Jack gets a tap down. 
Straight to Mozo. Mozo hands out wide to Snowy. He's come up. Snowy tries to dodge, but slips over in the wet, and he's just slipped on the ball there. And holding the ball has been caught. A quick play on Yarn. Now running the arc. The no argue on the don't argue on Mozza. Still gets caught but gets the ball away. Just misses his target as the ball trickle out there. Good show of strength there from both Yarn and Mozza as they're fighting there in the midfield to get their ball. They did go forward for the orange team, and there will be a ball up on their forward flank just outside the 35 meter arc. If they can get a goal here with four and a half minutes remaining, that is absolutely game on intense for both sides. Let's see what they can do here at the stoppage as Yarn and Jack go at it again. No clear winner as, as Jan follows up his work, gets the ground ball. Matt in there in support, gets a handball back to Jan. He's swarmed immediately, and that ball triggers out over bounds. And we'll have another ball up, another stoppage here. The Orange team forward flank. Jared hovering dangerously. He's been lively at the forward line for the Orange team. Matt as well, looking for that sweeper role. It's Captain Jan taking the ruck work here against Jack for the Giants. Snowy, good read of the ball. Good clean pickup. Doesn't panic, but he's, kick is smothered. Jared at the ground, tapping it out. But it's Benny from the Giants who ducks and weaves, gets around a few, slips as he kicks, but he gets the ball out of the danger zone, past the halfway mark. Just as Fabi from Keel has run up to meet this from halfback. Uh, just gets taken as he kicked. And Moza has got hands out to the Giants. And now Max is running, number 23. Almost caught there. In fact, he is caught. He's, he's having a retreat there, but he's got a friend there in Benny. Hands forward to Teela, who's come out of the back line on a bit of a run. He's got space. He's got time. He sets sail. He sends it towards goal. He's just missed his target there. He had a man, unfortunately, just overkicked it. And there'll be a ball up in the Giants' forward pocket now. It's about 3 minutes, 15 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Only 7 points separate these two teams. After a real hard-fought game so far, that margin ballooning out to 28 points, but it has shrunk right back down to 7 as the Orange team have made their comeback here. Jack, good tap behind him. To it, trying to use forwards a chance. Moza there on the ground, trying to fight for it. Vieri right on him, not letting him have it. Oh, and there has been a holding free kick, a holding. And it has gone to Moza. Didn't quite have possession, but he was being held while he was trying to pick that ball up. So Moza now at about 20 meters out, the mark is. Moza will be looking, licking his lips at this one. This is absolutely within his range, and he'll be wanting to, to add this one to his score sheet for sure. It's a Munich half forward. The national team women's assistant coach looks to line up for this goal to give the Giants some breathing room late in this last quarter. Set sail, just touched on the line, doesn't go through. The Giants are still there at the ground, but good defense there for Fabi and Misha combining. Uh, but it is smothered through for a behind, increasing this margin slightly. It might be a couple of golden points here needed for the Giants to keep this lead with almost two minutes to go. As Leek looks to push this ball back in as soon as he can, but he's going to wait to see. Make sure Fabi's all right there. Yep, he's kicked that ball out to the wing. He's found a man and good mark there taken. They've got to move this ball now, the giant, the, the orange team. It's, it's two goals of difference, basically. They need two kicks to win this. They need to get moving as Dane takes a good mark at the edge of the center square. He's got a man up front. The chain of marks is working well. But it's just off the chest of Yarn there. As we'll have a ball up at the edge of the center square, orange side of the field, at the far side. Yarn and Jack again in the ruckus have done for most of the day against each other. No clear winner, but Yarn does get a little toe poke out. Russell there for the Giants. Oh, gets around two, but then gets dragged down. No whistle call. Play on Teela now trying to get the hands out, but Phil applying the pressure. Moza coming through for the Giants, trying to pick that up. He does. He gets it on the second bounce. Kicks a nice kick out to the wing. He's found a man there. Who's decided to take his time. Smart decision. Only a minute and 20 to go. Gets the hands out to Teela. Oh, it's a bit of a dodgy hand pass. That Anton was onto it. And now they're in trouble there, but they have the numbers. It's a 2 one but Anton fighting hard and doing some real good defensive work. Snowy coming up to me, but Vieri strong tackle there from the Orange team. They know they've got only a minute left to try to win this. Moza trying to get those hands out. Snowy back again, getting tackled by two, still getting the kick out. As the Orange team do get a mark, they've got to push this ball forward. They do not have long left as Dane takes the, the saving mark. Almost plays on there, decides not to. He's only got about 40 seconds. Dane's got to get this ball moving down to the other end. Oh, this might be a Giants victory. Danes doesn't seem to have an option. He's looking forward. He's just going to kick long down the line as best he can, trying to clear some players, get some space, get some yards. Phil's got onto it at the back. Camille's there for the Giants, doing the defensive work there, holding that ball up. Good work from Camille there, locking that ball in as the seconds are trickling down. As the Orange team, they're fighting. They're trying to get that ball off the ground. Vieri's involved. Phil's involved. Yarn is involved. The kick comes out, smothered. Yarn again. Tackle down again, and Moza for the Giants comes away, and that might be all she wrote. So he gets a clearing kick out to the middle. 
And it looks like we might have a ball up here on the edge. No, it is stayed in, and Maddie has, has got the ball. He's pumped that back long. Play on the umpires called. Now there is a whistle, and it will be a ball up there deep in the final pocket. We only have seconds remaining here. A bit of overtime. Might, might be one last play possible. No, the umpire has called. That is it. It's the end of the game. Giants have come away with this. 9-10-64. So the Orange team, GWS 8-8-56. Eight, eight, Eight-point win in the end for the Giants. A fantastic game from everyone. That was a beautiful game from all, from both sides. There was a lot of hard efforts there from a lot of players. Uh, to name a few from the Giants, Jack, Martin, Max, fantastic through the middle to the forward line, but not to be outdone by their backmen as well, working real hard back there. Um, and also the other forwards, Big Willow providing a target. And for the GWS, there was a strong comeback made there. And a lot of people throughout that midfield, from Dane jumping in the ruck, from Yarn as well, Captain Yarn through there, from Vieri doing some great tackling work, and things like that. Jared working hard off the off the half forward line, and the backs Anton uh, um, and the guys back there, Farby from Kiel. They did fantastically. Just fell short today, but that comeback was real. That was a real good effort to come back. Twenty eight points down uh, in that first quarter, second quarter. So it was a real good comeback and real good fight. And once again, thank you to all the players who came down today from Munich, from Heidelberg, from Kiel, uh, from Cologne. Even the the ladies who are coming down, we're playing up next, and we've got the Giants boys, of course. Who, who are joining in today. A few first gamers here, so I'm sure we'll see a couple of shoeys later. I'm not sure we'll have vision of that, uh, but we'll, we'll see some excitement here from the boys after the game. So well done to everyone. Again, that scoreline, Giants taking the eight-point win over the Orange team.